Hello YouTube, this is how to take a bunch of latitudes and longitudes and plot them on Google Earth instead of entering your place marks manually which you actually have to do add place marks control shift P that takes a while to enter a bunch of longitudes and latitudes but what you can do is create an Excel file convert it to KML and then once you click on it voila you'll have all your waypoints or your place marks populated on the screen like I have done here so this is basically how you do it real quick in a nutshell you go to Excel and you create your file you want your file to have latitude longitude name a description and an icon and these are defaults here 112 we could change the values for different colors then the document you're working with is Excel to KML you can search for that on YouTube, it's on earthpoint.us, Excel to KML. There are three buttons here on the screen. So the first thing we could select our file. I open it to see your file is selected. Okay, you can actually check your file here on the screen for errors. So no errors were found. So I guess I did a good job. Then you go back, you load your file again, you hit browse, I select my file, I open it. Then I tell it view on Google Earth. Now this is where it does the conversion. So I say save the file and it will save it as a, K, a .kml extension. So it's download complete. I click here. This is my file number six in the corner in the download button. So number six, I click on that. And here we go. As you notice, it's loading it up on my map automatically for me on Google Earth. It's over here in my temporary places. I could just drag it over here into my favorite places. And to turn them back on, I just click click on it here. Didn't like that. Here we go. And then I could just zoom in now to see my places. And once I click on each one, it gives me the description that I loaded in there. So that's in a nutshell basically how you can plot several points i just plotted about 14 points so 10 points on google Earth with using excel so if you have any questions feel free to drop me an email i'll put the link for this document that you need to work with to do the conversion so it's a pretty nice simple utility but it's a nice tool from google Earth. hope you guys enjoy it take care now